I have not uploaded a Christmas ornament bulb carving video since day seven, but I have been carving my ornaments. I've done eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm getting ready for day 13. I'm going to show you the process for day 13, but just show you the stamped images for days 8 through 12. The process is all the same. I have this little piece of Speedy Carve carving material, and I either sketch or transfer or freeform a design on here and carve it out ink it and stamp it in my little book. I have some patterns in here that I've been sketching out, kind of playing with what I want to do on my ornaments, but the one for day 13 is still in my head. I don't have a pattern for it. So, I'll just take it from my head instead of from here. <laughs> but all the others come from here. For days 8 through 12. And I need to tell you that I mislaid my little book here. I couldn't find it. I believe this was December 6th and December 7th. My swans were the last one that you saw. I've been playing around with some other carvings. This was a freehand for December 7th. Oh, here's December 8th. I did get it in here. I'll show you that, the the stamped version on the cardstock. But I wanted to show you, I've been carving on some erasers. I want a smaller version of Penelope Rose that I can stamp on envelopes. And I carved her out of an eraser. But the thing of it is, on her eye here... I had to go back and draw it in. So I'm debating whether I want to recarve her, which I really do, but I may not do it right away. I may just use this one and draw in her eye again, because I like everything about it except for her eye. <laughs> I had to draw it in. <laughs> so I do do other carving other than ornaments. Sometimes I'll sit when I can't sleep, and I'll just freeform things. And they may not be Christmas ornaments. But since I lost this little book that I was doing all my stamp-offs in, I have this other one that I started, and I'm going to show you days 9 through 12 here. You're not going to see me transfer the design or stamp it off or anything. I'm just going to show you the finished images. I did a partridge. How cool is that? The butterfly. This is kind of a reverse tree because the bird is sitting this way. <laughs> so I thought, well, maybe it's just a row of fans. I just was playing around. I did some corner stamps. Here was my first impression, and I liked it. I liked it right away. This was a fairly simple design to carve. And I can tell you, I'm getting stubborn. <laughs> getting stubborn? I am stubborn. <laughs> I'm using the number one V-blade on this, and I'm using it. I know it's getting dull. I go, oh, I'll put in a new blade next time. I'll put in a new blade next time. It's still good. It's still good. Eventually, I'm going to have to put in a new blade. But I think it's carved pretty good in here. The simple lines. Now, the wide areas I carved out with my... U blade or the larger V blade. I don't remember which. But I really do like the ornament here. The other thing that I want to tell you is that I want to start doing something with these ornaments before Christmas. So I have another video started and it's just not quite finished. The project isn't quite finished, but it will be coming either later this week or early next week. So that was December 9. This is December 10, and these are candles. Here's the first impression here. I did not make any changes to it. Here again, it's a fairly simple design. I have little, little areas of patches in between. I meant for those to be there. 
And then when you stamp it out, it it's almost like it's a light emanating from the center of the bulb. I really do like that. And here's the butterfly. It worked really well for the butterfly, the corner stamp, and the Christmas trees. Now, I still want to do angels. I know that I can use these for angel wings. Just put a skirt down here and a head up here. I haven't done angels yet. You'll be seeing me do angels. This was December 11th. This one I struggled with. But I will say, looking at the ornament, not a bad ornament. But these are supposed to be jingle bells. And you can see I went back in and I drew the lines. I outlined them. I was not happy with just the piece itself. When you put it together into an ornament, it begins to take some shape. I do like the inner part here, and I'll probably be doing more of this intersection in here. I am noticing that when I do this, it takes on the shape of a square, a diamond shape. So I might continue that diamond shape if I can. We'll see. And here's the Christmas tree. And of course, I was discouraged. I wrote recarve. So I'm still working on the jingle bells. And here is December 12. I'm fairly happy with this. Here again, I'm putting in the holly leaves in the center. Just one holly leaf and some little red berries around the sides. Some holly leaves around the sides. Fairly happy with this. I did not recarve it. I did not do anything to fix it. I was looking at this area right here, but I just decided I'd keep it. Here's the tree and the corner stamps. I did not do a butterfly on that. So that brings me to day 13. Here are my little patterns for days 1 through 12. Day 13... I will not have a pattern. I'm not going to draw out a pattern. The pattern's in my head. It's going to be a freeform design, but I probably will stamp it off and put it here so I will have the complete set for all the days. I like keeping track of these. These are going into my, my year 2017 art journal. This whole section is that I'm doing stamp-offs on here. Of course, these are the various bulbs that I've carved over the days. Here is day seven, I believe, and the wreath. And then I start with the other days here, the partridge. These birds, I was not happy with these birds. Not happy with them at all, but once you put it down and walk away, it's not bad. I might recarve this too. The jingle bells, I guess by the time you get to day seven and eight, you're <laughs> you're phasing out a little so these these designs I will probably recarve I'm still working on my design for jingle bells although I don't mind them in the ball they kind of remind me of peppermint candies here <laughs> and here are my stamp offs of just the stamps that I've carved and something like this is probably what I'll put over on my little pattern sheet for day 13 and here again is day 12 so I'm going to go ahead and carve day 13 and as I'm carving it just keep in mind that the way that I do this with the exception of the design is how I've been doing for all the days. You've seen the process. You know the approach that I'm taking. I don't see a need to refilm that. So I'm going to get started. I will do this in fast forward motion. And when I'm finished, you'll see the finished Christmas ball for day 13. <laughs> 